Ever since 1948, Israel has been a foreign and security policy problem. Ever since World War I and Louis Brandeis's influence on Woodrow Wilson and his foremost advisor, Edward House, the U.S. State Department's position on the potential for a Jewish state in Palestine had been quite clear. It opposed the Zionist movement because it was a minority group interfering in United States foreign affairs. In a hearing before the Senate Armed Services Committee in March of 2010, Petraeus said quite straightforwardly that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict foments anti-American sentiment in the region due to a perception of U.S. favoritism toward Israel, and it makes military operations that much more difficult. When my old mentor and boss, Colin Powell, and I used to talk about the issues here, we rarely, if ever, complimented Israel on its additions to U.S. security posture in the region. Quite the opposite, as a matter of fact. Does the unbalanced policy of the U.S. toward this enclave jeopardize U.S. national security interests? You bet it does, big time. All we should ask, all I'm asking, all I asked for four years in the State Department, is that the American people be told the unvarnished truth and then decide if they're willing to do it. Do they want their foreign and security policy based on sound principles of power management, or do they want it based on passions, ideology, and unbridled favoritism?